G'day battlers, and today we've got a very special video, we're shoutcasting EP Berg's very early Timeless Cup. So this was just a couple days into the month, already got a Timeless Cup, and it just isn't a normal Timeless Cup. EP Perg's didn't bring a dragon, so he's running dragonless, and I mean, spoilers, he ends up winning the whole thing. So, really good effort, and yeah, let's just see how he did it. So first up, we've got his team. So he's running Blaziken, Skuntank, Victory Belt, Lapras, Whiskash, and Celio. So he's running uh, Blaziken as the starter, which is already definitely an interesting pick. He does have that counter damage. Uh, he can take out like Lapras and the such. Uh, then he's got Skuntank, which is a pretty good safe switch. Victory Belt, you need that grass damage to take out all the waters. He's running Double Ice with the Lapras and the Celio, which is definitely a strat that lots of people have been using. And then Whiskash, who is just a really good Pokemon. Whiskash is able to beat up uh, Lapras, he's able to beat up Dragonair, uh, he's really able to do a lot of things in this cup, just has to be scared of that grass type. Does have Blizzard though, if he's able to land the Blizzard, but we're not talking about how good Whiskash is in this cup, we're talking about how good EP Bergs did. So, let's look up against his first opponent, opponent King Joker. So King Joker's running Sunny Castform, Dragonair, Swampert, Bomber Snow, Celio, and Whiskash. So he's running that Dragonair, obviously. You, everyone, pretty much everyone's running Dragonair, uh, except EP Bergs. Uh, but yeah, then he's got Celio as the Ice instead of Lapras. And enough blabbing, let's just get into those battles. So leading with the Celio, and he has, he's able to catch the Dragonair, which is a fantastic start. And he's actually he's prepared to switch out. So uh, Dragonair staying in, he's throwing a charge move, so uh, I think Celio can tank this, it's probably an Aqua Tail, it is an Aqua Tail, so all good there. Uh, and then gonna throw the Body Slam spam back. Dragonair isn't, I mean it's got a little bit of bulk, but isn't super bulky, and the opponent actually uses a shield there. Uh, so Celio's already charged up another Body Slam, charges up some extra energy, and then throws the Body Slam uh, later. See if the Dragonair decides to burn both shields, does burn both shields, so really trying to win out this lead matchup, keep switch advantage. Uh, just yeah, keep the advantage and let's another Aqua Tail go through. Uh, Celio definitely getting pretty weak there and does get the Body Slam off just before he faints down, which is very clutch. Uh, will go through because Dragonair's already burnt both shields. Almost takes out the Dragonair, but Dragonair does take it down. So the opponent has burnt both shields to keep that switch advantage, so we'll see how that works out for him. Brings in Blaziken, gets that one counter for a little bit of energy, but uh, the opponent's definitely got a long way to go to counter down the, or well, to take out uh, both of EP Berg's shields and bringing in Celio isn't fantastic just because Blaziken are uh, really gonna really gonna stomp basically uh, and then throwing this blaze kick to uh blast burn blaze kick blast burn just eliminated especially with no shields and then a bomber snow in the back so uh really was weak to that blaziken uh maybe he was thinking the fact that it's got counter it isn't like a true fire type it definitely does lose a lot of the grass matchups uh but in this case, with a shield still in the bank, there was just nothing that uh, King Joker could have done there. So into battle number two, got Blaziken lined up with the Celio, so expecting a sh uh, switch out from the Celio and goes into Dragonair. So switching out from Dragonair into Celio. Uh, Celio obviously has that super effective Powder Snow and I'm expecting this to be another Aqua Tail. Oh, it's a return, okay. So now we know that he's running Aqua Tail in return. Uh, there's no dangerous Dragon Pulse that we have to worry about. But it's just low energy, kind of spammy moves. Uh, lands the body slam, so this time King Joker isn't uh, burning the shields. Uh, maybe trying to learn from the mistakes of the last one. Uh, now EP Bergs just stops doing the bubbles there. Knows that he's fainted down the dragon, assuming there's no shield. In comes uh, a bomber snow. Delete that uh, Celio instantly. So he's picking between Blaziken and Victory Bell. Uh, Victory Bell obviously has that Wraith Leaf damage too. Brings in the Blaziken to throw the charge move. So I'm assuming there's going to be a shield burned here. Otherwise, uh, there's going to be a lot of damage heading for that, uh, that Abomasnow's way. Uh, so Wraith Leaf is doing a lot to that Blaziken, which is just, it's not the its not the tankiest Pokemon in the cup, uh, but it definitely does some work. And I mean, you're seeing here, he's done some really good work. And he's actually able to take out that Abomasnow, which I wasn't expecting at all. Uh, so Celio comes in, takes out Abomasnow, and Victory Bell in the back this time. King Joker just cannot catch a break, and still, Eefy Berg's holding onto both shields. Just some really great ground play, and the Aurora Beam. Uh, so yeah, really well done. Uh, that was his only uh, shot to win, uh, Eefy Berg's, for whatever reason, not shielding. Thinking, oh, this is just a body slam, I can take it, and then just eating an Aurora Beam. But at any rate, Blaziken into Swamp It is not a good matchup, so switching out into Celio to catch this charge move. Probably just a Hydro Cannon. 
I say just, but Hydro Cannon is a pretty baller move. Uh, doesn't do heaps to Celio, and uh, the opponent brings in Sunny Cast Form, which is definitely not good for Celio, but at least we're going to be able to get some Body Slam spam off here. Uh, we'll do a, a little bit of damage, uh, not really expecting shields on AP Bergs' end, kind of just expecting Celio to just take it, go down, and he's actually able to get another Body Slam off, which is, I mean, it's, gr it's just great. Any damage, good damage. Uh, burns the shield there. Just a couple messages up the top. Uh, that's alright. Going the body slam at the sunny cast form. Just before he goes down too. That's the second time. Celio really showing his uh, showing his stuff here. Really getting those charge moves off last minute. In comes the blazekin. Should be able to tank the weather ball. Uh, does it does do a fair amount just because uh, again blazekin not super tanky, but he's able to faint down that sunny cast form. Uh, which. I mean, I thought that he might have been able to get to another weather ball, but guess not. Throws the blast burn, which does a lot to that swamp edge. That just shows you how good blast burn is. And then switching it to victory belt to just instant delete swamp it. In comes the Dragonair, and Dragonair is definitely going to be able to beat down this Victory Bell. Although, Victory Bell still holding on to those two shields. EP Bergs is doing really well at holding on to these shields. Uh, I suppose the opponent is, uh, isn't is putting a whole lot of uh, shield pressure on. Uh, there is obviously those spammy moves, but there just hasn't been a need to use the shields yet. Uh, but Dragonair is able to take out the Victory Bell. In comes Blaziken, and still has that shield, so I'm not... I think, I think he's going to be able to pull it off here. Uh, shielding up the Aqua Tail, and then gonna get to that Blaze Kick. So yeah, if the opponent didn't throw the Aqua Tail, I think they could have pulled it off uh, because they, uh, using the shield, uh, does uh, one damage instead of like the full uh, quick attack damage. So I think uh, the opponent definitely should have just gone for the quick attacks there, seeing as uh, if he Bergs is still hanging on to shield. But at any rate, GG's. That's round one, and on to round two. So round two, EP Bergs is up against Bro Birds. Now, Bro Birds is running Celio and Lapras at the end there, so double ice, Venusaur, Skuntank, Dragon, and Kingdra. So double ice and double dragon, uh, flawned, uh, flanked by that uh, Skuntank, really good switch in, and then Venusaur for that grass type damage. So uh, with no dragon on this team, uh, he might not use the ice type so much. Lapras definitely has a has a couple matchups here and there. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably stay away from the ice types if I was him, which kind of leaves him with four other Pokemon, so let's just see, how, how, see what they do into battle one leading blaziken again so really liking that blaziken lead into the dragonair which is not great for blaziken so looking to insta switch into skuntank uh into celio sorry i, I meant celio but oh uh dragonair is throwing off the charge move here so we'll see if it's like a dragon pulse it is just a return so not massive damage but uh at least i think it's better than aqua tail uh in comes the skuntank that sort of safe switch throwing the body slam spam and Skuntank is a bit of a force to be reckoned with, but Celio's charged up a lot of energy here. So I definitely think the opponent should have switched out of that Dragonair a lot sooner. Kind of like instantly as soon as they saw the Celio. Because uh, now there's so much shield pressure here, just being applied by EP Bergs. Has to shield to keep his Skuntank alive, which he switched into this matchup. Uh, so yeah, just really doing well here. Throws the flamethrower, gets rid of that Celio. EP Bergs really holding onto those shields tight. Uh, expecting the Blaziken to come up here because he's just been able to counter away that Skun Tank. No worries. Uh, and then expecting Dragonair to come back in, and it is. So going for the Blast Burn. Either he's going to have to burn that shield or that Dragonair is getting burnt up. Uh, just a Blaze Kick, sorry. Uh, but the shield gets burnt. And then going for another Blaze Kick. <laughs> he's able to get another Blaze Kick. This is just ridiculous. The amount of charge moves that EP Bergs has got off at that last 1 HP is just ridiculous. So in comes the Lapras, and he's got Skuntank here. With both shields, this is pretty much a uh, game, set, and match. There isn't much that uh, Bro Birds can do here. Crunch does a fair amount at Lapras, and even if he's using Skull Bashes and up his defense, there's just nothing he can do. Throws the Surf, uh, that low energy. He's going to be able to get to another Surf before he goes down, but again, he's still got both shields left over. Uh, so yeah, shield that up and then can be able to get to a crunch and this will faint down the Lapras and that is GG's. So uh, good that we're finally seeing the, that Skun Tank switch in. Uh, I guess he didn't really use it as the safe switch though. He switched into Celio to kind of hard counter that Lapras. Maybe he was thinking that uh, he might not be prepared to deal with the Celio. Uh, but at any rate, again, same matchup. Blaziken vs Dragonair. Both of them are stuck to their guns. And Eevee Bergs is running the same trio here. Again, switching into the Celio and the opponent staying in with that Dragonair. So I'm 
I'm not too, I really don't think it's the right move. Uh, he is burning that shield there on the Dragonair this time. So he has charged up a little bit of energy and then switching into Venusaur. So Venusaur definitely scared of the Powder Snows. Um, actually, I've only just noticed now that E.P. Bergs isn't running double moves on this Celio. Uh, he's just got Body Slam. And actually, that's the reason he was running no Dragon, because he didn't have the, uh, he wasn't able to invest in a double move for Dragonair. So just went, oh well, no need. And so yeah, this is where we are now. Just letting that Frenzy Plank come through get rid of him, and then we've got Skuntank and Blaziken, both pretty good options here, and somehow, I don't know how he keeps doing it, but once again, he's ended up with two shields against his opponent's zero, so just absolutely masterful gameplay, uh, so he's still holding onto that shield still, he's able to tank that Frenzy Plant, but it does do a fair amount to that Skuntank, uh, Venusaur does go down, brings in the Dragonair again, going straight for the Sludge Bomb, knowing that there's no shields on the field, no reason to hold back, just go full force, Sludge Bomb does a whole lot of damage, uh, we'll see if he finally burns the shield here on the Skun Tank. He does. So, finally. Uh, not too many opportunities to use a shield left, I would imagine. So, fans down the Dragon Air. In comes Kingdra. He's able to get the last second Sludge Bomb. Seriously, I, I cannot express. This guy is ridiculous. Uh, lands it. Down gets the Skun Tank. Actually, switches into the Blaziken. Uh, he's going to be able to fank out that Kingdra. Still had a shield, even if Kingdra somehow got to an Outrage. And that is GG's. He's won uh, one round two already. Uh, and then going into the game three of the round two, uh, got catching the dragon there with the Lapras, so really good catch here. Again, he's only running a single move, and it actually he's just running Surf. So uh, I mean, definitely uh, sticking a pretty cheap team for a pretty good win with no dragon. So um, just a massive respect here, and calls the Aurora Beam. Man, that is ridiculous. Able to call that Aurora Beam. That is that's a really big play there. Like. If he didn't catch it, Victory Ball would be gone. This he would be in such a worse spot. But instead, he was able to burn up that Celio's energy. Just really well done there. Although, interestingly enough, E.P. Birds has burned a shield before his opponent here. Uh, so, Skuntank did get a charge move. Going to take down the Victory Bell. Just letting him go down. Uh, expecting... Actually, I'm not sure what I'm expecting here. Lapras or Skuntank? Uh, I guess Skuntank? Yeah, Skuntank for the mirror. Going to be able to, hopefully, hoping to take him down before he gets a charge move off. But not able to do so. So, shields up. Was just a crunch, which wouldn't have done heaps of damage, but takes him down, down to his last Pokemon now, and it is Dragonair. Uh, going for the crunch, he's still got two shields to burn here, so he's kind of on the on the opposite foot here. Uh, he's basically playing against EP Bergs now, uh, so he does have charge moves to burn the shields. Uh, not sure how it's going to play out. Uh, Dragonair throwing the return. Uh, if he had Dragon Pulse, might might have been better, I guess. Uh, but throwing the Surf, this should burn that second shield. And it does. Uh, no reason not to use it at this point, but Lapras had charged up that double surf, had charged up that double surf, and uh, won't finish off the dragon here, but we'll get very close and one more quick attack, and down he goes. So that's GG's. And onto the round three opponent, Quinby won. Now, Quinby is a massive player. Uh, he won a seven round, uh, what was last month? Ferocious? Seven, seven round Ferocious, I think it was. Oh, maybe it was seven round Sinister. Yeah, I think it was seven round sinister in New York, I want to say. But Quinby, absolute big player here. Uh, unfortunately, we do only have one battle out of the three here recorded. But anyway, Quinby is running a Bomber Snow, Dragonair, Kingdra, Haunter, Frost Hats, and Swampert. So uh, running double dragon again with Dragonair and Kingdra. So I guess making up for Eevee Bergs' is lack of one. Uh, going that a Bomber Snow route, which there's, there's a second of Bomber Snow here, which is definitely interesting. Uh, and then Haunter is definitely a bit of a spice pick. Uh, I mean, not spice pick, but it's one that you definitely need to learn how to use. Like, you need to practice. There is no way you can just go bring in Haunter with no practice and know what you're doing. There's just no chance. Uh, and then Frostlass, Swampert to round out the team. Swampert got that heavy hitting damage. Frostlass with that uh, Shadow Ball and Avalanche can do some real damage. Uh, no dragons here, so maybe you won't use the Frostlass. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's get into the... So leading with the Lapras this time, no Blaziken, and good thing because uh, Quinby brings in Swampert. So uh, getting ready to switch out here, uh, actually goes for the Surf. I'm not sure if that was like if he was trying to switch or if he was cancelling the switch or what went on, but throws the Surf, goes through, which does a fair amount of damage to that Swampert. Now Swampert needs to land the Earthquake here against the Lapras. Just a Hydro Cannon, so uh, good call on EP Bergs' end there. Uh, throws the Surf. Uh, expecting the shield to come up from the Swampert or else he's in big trouble. So yeah, up comes the shield. Swampert throwing another charge move. Again, he really wants to land the Earthquake here. So let's come through and it is just a Hydro Cannon. So Lapras is in the red, but uh, switching out into Frostlass. 
Uh, all right, so switching out uh, on this end into Blaziken. I don't think this is a great matchup for Blaziken. Uh, he will be able to do that uh, pretty heavy damage with the fire, actually. Uh, actually shields the Shadow Ball, so definitely, uh, I mean, well done on this end, uh, on the Eevee Burgers end. Throws the Blaze Kick and shields up. So Queen Bee burnt both shields. Almost gets to another Blaze Kick before the charge move comes through. Uh, decides to shield in case it is that Shadow Ball, and it is. So gonna definitely be able to get to another charge move. Uh, charges up to the Blast Burn, throws the Blaze Kick. I guess just charging up for extra energy because there's no shields to burn. Uh, deletes that Frost Lass, goodbye. Uh, expecting Swampert to come back in. Actually, Haunter. Uh, and then switches, oh, okay, so maybe he was trying to catch the charge move with the Swamp Pit. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't pay off for Quimby. It is a Blaze Kick that's going to do a whole lot to that Haunter. Haunter is going to be able to finish off the Blaze Skin here, but it isn't going to be enough. Because uh, he's still got one in the back. Uh, two in the back, actually. In comes the Lapras with charge move ready. Throws the Surf, and this is GG's. Uh, so yeah, only the one recording here out of the three, but... Uh, EP Burgs does take the round against Quimby, so, I mean, just well done there. Down goes Haunter, and on to opponent number four. So, final opponent, uh, and this is uh, the challenger of the tournament. Uh, we've got uh, V Tenacity with Ivysaur, Lapras, Dragonair, Kingdra, Swallow, and Celio. So, uh, he's kind of running triple ice on this team, which is definitely going to have a problem with EP Bergs' is no dragons, because that is what the ices are there to counter. So, he's got Lapras, he's got Celio, and then he's got Swallot, who is presumably running uh, maybe Acid Spray and Ice Beam. Uh, and then King Joe Dragon and Double Dragon, Ivysaur, as the starter. And yeah, let's see, let's go to the battles. So, leading that Blaziken back to Old Faithful and catches the Lapras. This is fantastic for the Blaziken. That counter damage is going to be huge. Expecting the Lapras to switch out, uh, maybe after he charges up some energy, but Blaziken's already got a Blaze Kick off here, and Lapras is probably going to look to shield, and he does. Uh, getting the Surf off, so Badskin in turn is going to have to burn a shield. Uh, so, we're trading for one for one here, but Blaziken is in a much better spot. Uh, he's... Uh, Lapras is able to get that Surf off first, so uh, Blaziken probably going to shield yet. Yeah. Eevee Bergs has to burn both shields here on the first Pokemon, which might not be used to, and then switching it to Kingdra before the Lapras goes down, so pretty good play. Unfortunately, it does mean that Eevee Bergs is going to be able to bring in a Lapras to do that super effect damage up against Kingdra. Uh, no, I don't think the Surf... I mean, I guess it's... It's some damage, it's just not fantastic against Kingdra. Uh, you really want another charge move on the Lapras for these sorts of matchups, and for the Lapras mirror match, of course. But Kingdra able to take down the Lapras. Now, Eevee Burgs is going to have to be worrying about the uh, charge moves coming off of Kingdra, just because he still has, uh, well, Eevee Burgs has no shield. So anything Kingdra throws, it's coming through. And the opponent actually doesn't shield, so I'm not. I feel like if he, I feel like he was close to a charge move and it might have been beneficial to hold on to the Kingdra. Uh, not too sure, but in comes Skuntank vs Dragonair now. Dragonair getting off a charge move. And it is a Dragon Pulse! So absolutely devastating there. I had the Dragon Pulse instead of the Aquatel Surf, uh, Aquatel uh, Return, sorry, but yeah. Uh, if he burgs, definitely gonna have to come back from this. Has to win the next two games to take the round and take the tournament. So uh, Battle of the Grasses here. Ivysaur is gonna be able to win out there. So switching out into Blaziken uh, gets a little bit of energy before Ivysaur switches out into Kingdra, which is pretty big. Blaziken just going for that straight counter damage uh, and then going for the Blast Burn. Uh, maybe looking to piggyback, uh, sell piggyback. Uh, doesn't finish off the King Drop. Does finish off the King Drop without throwing another charge move. I was not expecting that to go down. Throws the charge move. Ivysaur is going to have to put up a shield here to stay alive. And does. Down goes the Blaziken. Pretty quick smart. Uh, got Victory Bell and Celio. Uh, not in a fantastic position. At least he does still has both shields. Uh, Celio going to be taking big damage from the v, uh, from the Ivysaur. Victory Bell just going to have to be worrying about the charge moves. So actually doesn't burn a shield. And it was a sludge bomb. So uh, really rough call on AP Burks' uh, part there. And then not shielding this charge move. Knowing that Victory Bell didn't have much longer in the sun anyway. So coming into Celio. Hoping to finish off the Ivysaur. I uh, guess the Body Slam off. Uh, we'll see if a shield comes up on Ivysaur's side. Uh, no shield. Uh, I probably would have shield. Oh, he does have Dragonair. So I, uh, I guess he didn't want to get Aurora Beamed. Uh, but... Yeah, I guess he didn't want to get Aurora Beamed, but little does he know, Eevee Burgs actually doesn't have that Aurora Beam. So, throwing that Body Slam spam, Celio, absolute spam master of this cup. Uh, definitely showing why he is the one to pick instead of Lapras. And then able to get to another Body Slam before Dragonair is able to take him out. That is, that's GG's. 
great work and with that one that sliver of HP at the end too and EP Berg's finishing off with both shields still intact so this is final battle for the cup for the win let's see we've got Celia vs Dragonair terrible spot for the opponent uh, expecting a pretty quick switch out from the Dragonair but again not really happening uh, so I guess Dragonair is able to do a lot of damage to Celia with the Dragon uh, Dragon Breath and doesn't want to switch out into a worse matchup, but uh, is burning that shield and then another Body Slam coming through already. Dragonair is going to be really weak if he doesn't double shield, uh, and he doesn't into the yellow already. Finally becoming a charge move. Now we do have to be careful of that Dragon Pulse. I feel like it's a bait. He's not a bait, and uh, I think... If you, I'm not sure if EP Bergs didn't shield uh, expecting like an Aqua Tail. Uh, same mistake that I just made, or if... Uh, if he was just ready to let Blaziken, uh, let, sorry, uh, Celio go down. But, brings in the Blaziken, charges up a fair bit of energy on that Dragonair, taking it down. Throwing the Blaze Kick here at, at, at that Kingdra. Uh, Blast Burn, sorry, and it does go through. Brings Kingdra into the yellow. Uh, still holding onto both shields here, switching into Skun Tank uh, at the last second. Fainting down the Kingdra before we can get off a charge move. And up against uh, Ivysaur now. Now, he charges up to the Sludge Bomb, throws the Crunch. Uh, hoping that Ivysaur shields, and he does shield, oh, he doesn't, doesn't shield, sorry, uh, and at this point, uh, there's, there's nothing that Ivysaur can do, if he threw a charge move, it'd get shielded up by his two shields that he's still holding on to, uh, even if he shielded, he wouldn't have been able to get to a sludge bomb, there's just nothing he can do, uh, that's GG, so, excellent job, EP Bergs, taking the win there with no dragons, uh, and that just goes to show, if you don't, if you happen to be a fairly new, don't have a Dragonair, haven't got uh, enough candy from the Purified, or just don't have enough Stardust to power off that Dragonair to a pretty high level, get that second move, no need, so just fantastic work there, EP Bergs, and yeah, just, I look forward to seeing more in the future, so thank you for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, especially that subscribe one, and actually, I have to thank another person, because now I have to thank Braj SF on top of Miller Time, Raj SF has gone to be the second Patreon. Uh, Patreon link in the description, but yeah, just here's the new graphic. So thank you both. Uh, I'm looking, I mean, I guess I put in the second love disc because so I was like, oh, now there's two people. It is spread the love disc. Uh, one love disc is smaller than the other one, but that wasn't supposed to be like, I don't know, identifying. Like that wasn't saying, like, that wasn't saying that Miller Time's a big love disc or anything like that. I was just, you know. I might play around with it some more. Uh, as you can see, I put a lot of effort into this graphic, so uh, you know, be gentle. Uh, give me your, give me your criticism. Give me the best you got. I, I'll, I'll try. I'll, tr I'll try and take it on board. You know, because uh, it, it is really is a masterpiece. I think. Uh, definitely put in the hard yards, put in the hours. But enough about that. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Especially subscribe one. See you in the next timeless cup. Video. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,